Decorating performance wear, well, that's a challenge. But the opportunity for performance wear is so big right now, not only in your traditional fitness market, but also for any clientele. In this particular video, I wanna show you how to reach the golf market. And something really big about golf are golf outings or tournaments and sponsor logos. I mean, have you ever seen a weekend of golf? All the logos that are across the apparel and the headwear that are being worn by the professional athletes, well, that's often mimicked at your local course. But when we're dealing with different logos, usually we have a lot of different colors that we need to accommodate all onto one piece. Well, we're gonna make it easy today with the Hotronics heat press and our Ultra Color Soft digital screen printed transfers. The beauty of Ultra Color Soft is I can group all of these logos onto one sheet for this garment or for additional clients as well. This is an 11 and a half by 18 inch sheet. You load it up with all of your logos and you order five sheets, 10 sheets, 20 sheets, whatever you need to complete the job, but each sheet must be identical. So in this particular case, I'll be using a few logos from the sheet to decorate this quarter zip. Let's head over to the Hotronics heat press and I'm gonna show you exactly how to hit these unique placements with all of these logos. To begin pressing, we need to trim apart our logos. Now you can order Ultra Color Soft, as I have here, in what we call a gang sheet with all the logos grouped together, which means you fit as many as you can and you trim them out. Or if you wanna order just by the image because your particular job only requires one logo, you can do that as well. In this particular case, I'm going to trim apart all of the logos, and that way we have everything set. I'll use some of these logos on this job, on this garment, and a couple of the logos will be utilized for other purposes. So we trim everything apart. Make sure we trim these um, black marks off of our paper as well so they don't transfer over, especially because I'll be decorating a lighter color fabric here in a bit. And you can see through this carrier and that makes it really easy to line up so you don't really have to pay too much attention to your edges being straight. So now that I have all that ready to go, let's go ahead and load my garment onto the press. I'm starting with my 16 by 20 inch platen. That's my preferred heat press size. So if you're looking to buy a heat press, I always recommend if you can afford it, go with a 16 by 20 inch. Something you'll notice on this quarter zip on the Hotronics heat press, I'm able to split the garment open and thread it on. That's gonna be my first tip. It helps you to load your item quickly and it also helps you to get rid of any excess bulk. In this case, the quarter zip, the zipper is actually hanging below the press so it's not gonna impact my pressure on my full back print location. I always recommend a, uh, a preheat when you're heat pressing. So let's put the cover sheet on there. Let's check our pressure and adjust that. Ultra Color Soft applies at 290 degrees when you're decorating 100% um, polyester. And it applies at a medium to firm pressure for 12 to 15 seconds. All right, I'm still only at a four pressure. Let's adjust that up. There we are, we're at a seven. And so now I will preheat. So I'll position my sheet into place. I'll preheat for five seconds. While I'm doing that, I'll grab my print for the back print location. I'm going to position that in place. And this will be my larger logo. The idea is that this is a golf tournament, an event that's promoting Riverdale small business and shop local. So we'll put this primary brand on our back print location. Ultra Color requires a cover sheet. It comes with its own cover sheet. In this case, I'm using a craft paper because that's what I had on hand for today's video. We'll lock it down for 12 seconds. And very, very important, this is a cold peel product. That means you need to wait for it to get back to room temperature, completely cool down before you begin to remove the backing. Now, I don't wanna wait on this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'll just remove the garment from the press and we'll get to changing our platen. Now, if you were printing 50 of these, I'd print all the back locations first before I did a platen change, but the platen change is really easy. Even if you're only doing a sample garment like I'm doing here, I can just remove one platen with that quick change system. And then I can drop in another platen size. In this case, I'm gonna load my six by 10 which is one of my two favorite platens. The other one is an 11 by 15 inch, but we won't use that for our applications here today. And now I'm going to go for a left chest print location. So same concept, I'm gonna take my garment, 
split it open. I still have my design I just applied hanging below. And I'm going to thread it up onto the 6x10 print zone. Put my craft paper back into place. And let's check the pressure on this. Anytime you change platens, you want to adjust your pressure. In this case, um, turning the knob clockwise, which lowers the platen, increasing the pressure. And let's see, that's a four. You don't need a ton of pressure when you're pressing onto a smaller print surface. So on that 16 by 20 print surface, it required a lot of pressure because I'm going down onto a six by 10 surface, I'm going to be using less pressure. And so for this particular uh, brand logo, let's go ahead and put our, one of our corporate sponsors, which is Strive. So we'll position that into place. Let me pinch top shoulder to make sure I'm lined up. Take a look at it. Cover. And press. A very quick and easy application. It is a single step. Then I'm going to just slide to the other side so I can get the right chest print location. Now, I love this 6x10 because this zipper is just falling off of the edge and you're getting just to the print area, but you do need to keep some context here when you're putting multiple logos on of where the other logo is positioned. So I'm preheating now. Need to make sure you pre preheat every print zone. And in this case, we'll be putting on the Urban Roots logo. We will make sure we're lined up here. And then I'm going to hold this side out, look at it in total context. Looks like I'm centered well. Cover and apply that print location. Now for our next print location, I'm gonna show you a brand new attachment. Not a lot of people have this attachment, but those that do are realizing a lot of efficiency gains, and it's the double leg and sleeve attachment. So carefully remove this, trying not to lift any edges. Let me place my garment to the side. Very easy latch system. Take off my six by 10, and let's grab this double leg and sleeve attachment and load it into place. This was actually invented thanks to feedback from our customers. And somebody wanted to press this location a little quicker, a little easier. So you can actually load up and press two sleeves at once. And so you split the corner of the sleeve, or the end of the sleeve rather, and slide it into place. And you can split the other sleeve as well. Slide it into place, make sure your seam falls off of the edge here. And I'm doing some lower placements here. You can do a shoulder placement as well if you wanna slide the sleeve all the way down or load um, through the uh, neck hole and you can actually drape two garments on. So you're doing both left sleeves together on each garment. Um, that simplifies it as well. But the point is you can do two at once, whether it's on the same garment or on two different garments. Let's check my pressure and do a preheat here. And we're gonna to have to adjust backwards counterclockwise to reduce the pressure. Almost there. If you don't like adjusting the pressure on your press back and forth, uh, one thing I recommend is you consider an air press for your business. It actually does the pressure adjustment for you on the fly. You just program it in the touchscreen control and it will automatically adjust based on any thickness that you put onto the press. So I have my golf club logo that's gonna go down um, at the edge of this sleeve, and I have another brand logo, hopefully it fits here. It's gonna go down, make sure you measure your uh, platen and your placement before you order all of your logos to size. That can be an expensive mistake. And we'll position those two together Carefully cover them. 
and apply. That'll be the last application on this garment. And so we will peel the back off of all of these logos after they've cooled down, look at the finished result before we complete the other garment that coordinates. After you peel, you have a fully completed result, but a lot of decorators prefer to load the ultra color soft back onto the press and just to heat it again with a cover sheet. And I'll show you what that does. It really just blends this small clear outline around your logo that's part of the ultra color soft and stretch process, and it blends it in more with the fabric. So just a couple extra seconds to elevate the quality. Really three to five seconds on this second application helps to blend that and we'll take a close-up look at the after. All right and our final piece for the golf tournament concept is this long sleeve performance tee which we're going to have worn by our volunteers and this will just get our traditional front placement. So again, split and load, very simple process, and it can be extremely quick and easy to do a single placement. So as you're thinking about these opportunities, there are a ton of things that you can do with decorating these challenging fabrics, a lot of unique logos, a lot of unique placements. Uh, just make sure you have a good understanding of your costs in charging accordingly. Position and press. After all of those logos with that large sheet, we'll still even have a logo left over that we'll use for another job, or perhaps you include an extra logo as a sample for a client. The main thing I want to tell you is don't waste any space. You're paying for the whole sheet. There's no color limitation, so make sure you toss on a logo. We'll let this cool and then peel the backing. As you can see on the lighter colors of apparel, you don't see the outline at all. So single step application, perfectly fine, high quality result. So now that you've learned how to accomplish this finished result, let's take another look back at all the products used in this video. Number one was Ultra Color Soft. This is our digital screen printed transfer from Transfer Express. You can get the link to all the products I'm referencing down in the description of this video. We utilized our 16 by 20 Hotronics Auto Open Clamshell Heat Press along with the caddy stand. This helped me split and thread the garment to hit all of my print locations and get rid of the seams, the zippers, etc. Not only am I able to thread it, I'm able to change the platens. And we use two different platens in this video. The 6x10 platen for my left chest graphics and also the double leg and sleeve platen for my sleeve applications. We wrapped up by using the 16 by 20 platen that comes standard on your heat press for the front application on this performance tee. So, with a quality heat press, with the right tools for the job, with the right know-how and the right transfer, you can approach performance wear confidently and maximize revenue. Whether it's for a golf outing or another client, take the ideas you've, take, you've learned in this video and implement them in your business. Thanks for watching.